Hello fellow crafters, Lori here with the Crafty Connection. Today I have two signed DIYs for you that are similar but a bit different. And what I'm using is two Dollar Tree signs. Any sign will work, whatever you prefer. And I'm using some cutouts. I cut out um, a water can from the Cricut on some regular uh, lightweight chipboard, which is like cereal boxes. And then I also traced them out on some chipboard and cut it, and then some on some cereal board. So you can cut them on your Cricut, you can trace them out and cut them with scissors. You could use some that you can find at the Dollar Tree. They have metal watering cans there. That just wasn't the sizes that I needed for what I wanted to do. But the choice is yours. And then what I'm going to do first is get my signs prepped and ready to paint. I'm going to cut the tags off. I'm going to pull off any of these um, cardboard embellishments, sand off the glitter, and then I'm going to paint both signs, and I'm going to use folk art acrylic paint in the color parchment. When I get that all done and those are dry, I'll be back and we'll move on. All right, so I have both of my boards painted. I did one in the parchment and one in white. So I got those done. And then next I'm going to paint my water cans. And let me pull them out. All right, so I have the three here. These two go for one, and this one's going for the other one. So this one I'm going to paint in nautical blue uh, folk art chalk paint and these other two I'm going to do in one in celery and one in moss both from Waverly uh, chalk paint so I'm going to paint these up get them dry and then I'll be back okay so I have the two small pots painted I painted one in the moss green uh, Waverly chalk paint and one in the celery and then what I did is I took the one that was in the moss and I went around it with the celery and I didn't do it perfect at all because I wanted it just to kind of look like an enamel um, outline I guess so that's what I did there and I'm gonna do the same thing on this one and I'm just using the same brush that I used for the celery and I'm just going to show you how I did it. I just go around the edge. I don't think I got any paint on that. I got way too much. So I just go around the edge. Alright, let me wipe this off and see if I can get... stuck it way in there and then I didn't I made a mess okay so getting some of the moss so I'm just kind of going around the edges here nothing perfect whatsoever getting the edge edges too if needed so I'm just going around here hopefully you can see that nothing perfect whatsoever just going around those edges and I'm going to go around the whole thing and like I said you can skip this part if you don't like it you can dry brush you can leave it plain it's your project, you do it how you want. So I'm gonna finish edging this one and then paint the other one for the other side, and I'll be back. All right, so what I did on this one is I outlined the same way I did the water cans, and then I just took a light sanding over them, so it just kinda has all right, so I'm doing the exact same thing on this board here, just outlining the board with the blue 
just going on there and I'm not trying to make it perfect. I don't want it perfect. And then I did take a ruler and a pencil and draw the lines here so I can have something to go by. But I'm like I said, they're not going to be perfect either. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these painted on and then I'll be back. Alright, so I have my sign with my blue all around it and I've sanded all of this to kind of soften it up. I left this one here to do for you on camera and all I'm doing is just taking my sandpaper and using the finger sander. Any sandpaper that you have is fine. So that's all I did on that. And then I'm taking the water can. It kind of curled up, but it'll be fine once I glue it down. And I'm just using some... So, um, sorry, my camera, again, cut off. So I'm using the... Um... So I added some of the tacky glue and a little bit of hot glue here on the water can. And then I'm just going to put it towards the bottom. And then I'm going to put some things on it to hold it down. All right, so I glued this on using the tacky glue and the hot glue. I think I fixed my camera, so we'll see as we go along here. So this is glued on now, and I am going to take some flowers. I just got a flower stem I had in my stash. Any type of flowers that you want to use is perfectly fine. So I'm going to go pull these off of here, and I want to use a couple white one or one white one I think and two of the of the darker blue so far oh, that one doesn't want to come off of there might have to cut it off well maybe I'll cut it off let me get some wire clippers And then I might want to use some of, I'm just going to cut off a few things that I think I might want to use here for this DIY. Let's start with what we have here. I'll try a couple of these. start with what we have here. So I'm going to start with a blue flower and I'm going to cut it down in the back so I can get it to lay semi-flat. And I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to kind of put the white one in here. Something like like this, I think. Alright, so I'm going to start just by gluing this first blue one in. Just using hot glue. And I'm going to put it up there. I want to keep it to where you can still see the, the water can. And then I'll put this white one in next. holding it in there to get the, the flower in and then I'm going to put this other blue one down here. I really need to cut this down though. There we go. Just kind of put that one in here. So I have 
have some of these leaves and they are rather large. I'm not sure but they kind of go with the flower so I'm gonna use them. Plus this is the only blue flowers that I have believe it or not in my stash which is surprising but it is what it is and that's what I'm gonna use. Don't really like that one, it's all wrinkly. So I'm just kind of putting them in where I want them to go. Sorry if you can hear the cat. Alright, so I'm just going to add a few of these. I think they're pretty. Just to give it a little more uh, oomph, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Just whatever you have, whatever you like. Maybe I'll just stick this one in here. Like that. I'm just gonna cut it down a bit. Just adding some hot glue. And maybe one more down here at the bottom. I think would look really good. Let's see. We can kind of, I'm going to cut it down some. It's a little long for where I want it. Yeah, I think that'll look good right in there. gonna put a little glue all right so I was thinking about putting a bow on this but I think I actually like it the way it is um, so here's what this one looks like it's got the flowers in it the back is not done I'm gonna cover the back with craft paper I'm just out I have to go get some and then I'll put a twine hanger on them and then I did the other one already and I added a bow on this one so there's that one. Same thing on the back. I have to add the craft paper and a twine hanger. But there you go. I think these came out super cute. And I will post pictures at the end of the video of them uh, fin completely finished and hanging. But I think they came out really good. Super cute. Super easy to do. Very, very budget friendly. So there you have it. Alright guys, until the next video. If you like this one, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're a subscriber, I appreciate you all so very much.